Hey, Dr. Coleman, is addiction hereditary? Absolutely. You know, I think actually hereditary genetics is the most important part of why someone gets into problems with addiction. When I had to go to rehab myself in 1984, I didn't know anything about addiction. I just knew that I ended up actually having an overdose and having to go to rehab. But once I got there, I started learning and I realized, wow, my mom was alcoholic and my brother's alcoholic and my uncle's alcoholic and his cousin died of a, um, and my cousin died of a heroin addiction. Um, and so it just became really clear to me that this disease is all through my family. And then the more I started learning about it, I learned that the brain uh, in some people who are vulnerable to addiction is just different than other people. The best way we think about it is they're probably born with a slightly deficient or abnormal dopamine system in their pleasure center so that when they get a dopamine surge from people from using drugs, it has a stronger and more powerful effect for them. So there are lots of other factors, of course, that, that go into addiction. Um, but hereditary seems to be the most powerful one. Uh, and that's why we say to people, it's not your fault that you have addiction. You just started using drugs or alcohol like almost everybody does in their teenage years and early 20s. But what happened if you have that vulnerability that uh, it had a different effect on you uh, and that it ended up leading you down this path of addiction. So we say, like to say to people, it's not your fault that you have it, but now that you know that you do have it, it's your responsibility to take care of yourself because we know recovery works. We know that people can stop using drugs and stay in long-term recovery as long as they want to, as long as they put the work in and actually do it and make the changes necessary.